Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now, if you're going to be taking the backs off expensive high-end watches, then you really ought to be doing it with some decent quality tools. So, that's what I'm going to show you today. Come with me, let's take a look at it. So today we're looking at the Horatech Swiss made case back opener or case wrench and as you can see here it comes nicely presented in a full colour box so it makes a great present if you've got a friend who's into watches. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Firstly you've got this nice cloth which is a great little addition, really nice little polishing cloth there for when you're finished up. In the fitted form insert we've got the wrench itself and the two little pegs which go into the end. We'll show you those in a minute. So let's take it out. And here you can get an idea of the size of it. It's seven and a half inches long or about 19 centimeters. So it's a nice good size. It fits very comfortably in your hand as you can see here. The whole thing is very solid and heavy and it's very sturdy. It's complete metal construction all the way along. We've got a nice plastic handle which is comfortable. You've got a knurl section here, uh, the adjustment knob, uh, and you can see the pegs at the end, all metal. So it's really good, solid, well-built quality. Now this wrench comes with two studs or pegs, whatever you want to call them, and these have got tiny square tips. Now if you haven't already done so, you need to insert these into the wrench. Important that you put them in the right way around. You want the curved section to be on the inside. They slot in, they're very tight and firm fitting, so they're not gonna work loose. So make sure that they're in, fitted properly with the curved section on the inside. Once you've installed the pegs, you can leave them in situ because it will fit in the box quite happily with the pegs in place. Now you can adjust the distance between the pegs in order to accommodate different diameters of watches. Use the thumb screw at the back to rotate left or right to adjust it in or out. The jaws are adjustable from 18 to 65 millimeters, so you can accommodate most watch diameters with this. I lent the tool to a friend of mine who collects high-end watches, and something that he commented on was the very fine pitch of the screw thread. And this allows for a very, very fine, smooth adjustment. He also commented that the jaws are very sturdy and there's no play or wobble at the tips. The whole thing is very solidly made and he repeatedly commented how comfortable it was to use as well. So just a few thoughts there for you. So let's show you how to use it. To demonstrate it I've got two watches here to show you. This is a vintage Seconda and this is a Russian Poljot watch. And if I flip the backs over you can see they've both got screw backs and you'll notice the little studs holes all the way around them there and that's how you get them off. You might not be familiar with the make but that doesn't really matter. It's just a typical screw back case. You'll notice that around the back you can see small square indentations. These are the same size and shape as the square pegs and this is what we're going to use to open the watch. So the first thing we need to do is select two indentations which are diagonally opposite. They need to be in a straight line across the centre of the case because the wrench will pivot around the centre. Offer up the wrench but avoid actually touching the watch until you have to. Use the thumb screw to adjust the pegs in or out until they match the diameter between the two indentations. Then when you're happy it will fit. Place the wrench in contact with the watch back, ensuring that the studs locate precisely into the matching indentations. Apply light downward pressure towards the watch and slowly rotate the wrench anti-clockwise. Ensure that you keep it parallel to the watch and rotating it around the center of the watch back. Now just a little tip, remember you don't need to use the wrench to fully remove the case back, you only need to overcome the resistance. Once you've loosened the back, remove the wrench, put it to one side and you can continue to unscrew the back either with your fingers or with a friction ball. This way you minimise the contact between the wrench and the watch and therefore you minimise the risk of any scratches or marks on the watch. So just a little safety tip there. To replace the back is exactly the same, just watch out for these little keyways. Um, this fits in with a little key at the top, hopefully you can see that there. it fits into an indentation. So just watch out for that if you're using these kind of screw backs. Bezel pops back on, screw it up, finger tight, 
and then once you feel the resistance just use the spanner to just put that last little bit of tightness in it don't overdo it remember the watch might have a rubber waterproof seal on the back so you don't want to damage that so go gently now just a little tip for you guys if you find that you're struggling and it's slipping off which of course you don't want to do as it might scratch the watch obviously remember it needs to swivel around the center of the watch so if you're holding it down here don't try and twist it all the way with your wrist okay because you're going to be pulling it off what you need to do is twist it around the center so you're rotating it that way around the center of the watch you shouldn't need a great deal of force to open a watch back but what's important is that you're keeping it straight and rotating it properly so that you don't slip finally keep a check on the condition of your pegs they should last for years but if they ever become bent or worn they may start to slip so if so replace them Horatech make a variety of different shaped pegs uh, for different makes of watches so don't try to put a square peg into a round hole as they say just get in touch with Eternal Tools and they'll be able to sort you out with the appropriate tool for the watch you're working on. So, all in all, a solid, well-made, Swiss quality wrench. So, I think it's great value and it's worth every penny. I certainly wouldn't use anything less. So, there you have it. I've been Dave Wilson. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye for now.